everyone my name is Kajal and today I'm talking about simple robotic projects for beginners. They are easy enough for you to get started in the field of robotics and they don't necessarily require an hardware. You can use softwares like Gazebo and VREP to do them in simulation. Robotics has multiple subfields and these simple projects are a great way to get started and figure out which subfield interests you the most. I have personally done these projects during my college days either as part of coursework or out of curiosity. Let's start with controls. So let's say you have a robot and you want to drive it in a straight line. Soon enough, you will realize that world is not ideal. There are rough surfaces or the floor is a bit inclined and the robot will not necessarily go in a straight line. And you need some sort of corrective actions to get it back into the trajectory. And this is controls. In this example, I have a differential drive turtle bot and I'm making it go around in a square. In this case, I used a PID controller to ensure the robot drives straight. Again, if you don't have access to a real turtle bot, you can do it in simulation using gazebo. Next, let's talk about path planning. Path planning is basically finding a path to go from point A to point B. A simple project for path planning is finding a way out of a maze. You can use algorithms such as breadth first search and depth first search. What they do is look at each cross section as nodes and evaluate the path till it hits a dead end or the goal. Once you reach the goal, you found a path. An additional tip. Use matplotlib to visualize your maze and make it easier for you to understand what's going on as well as solve problems as they come. Next, let's talk about image processing, a popular subfield. Image processing is categorizing image into different categories or finding specific objects in the image. This brings us to a very fun project, Where's Waldo? The game is simple. You're given an image, let's say of a crowded beach, and you have to find the popular character, Waldo. A simple way to solve this problem is using template matching. You're basically dividing your image into multiple subparts, and then you're comparing your image of Waldo with each of this until you find a match. As my last project, I want to talk about line follower. This was my first project in the field of robotics and is super simple. As I mentioned before, if you don't have hardware, use simulation software such as Gazebo or VREP. In a line follower project, you're drawing a line on the surface, usually with a colored tape, and your robot is following that line. To achieve this, you will need IR LED lights and detector. The idea is simple. You are emitting light onto your surface. Now your tile and your colored tape is going to reflect right differently and give different intensities. Now you use these values with a simple if-else loop to decide where to drive your robot. So those are some of the simple robotics projects that you can do to get started in the field of robotics. If you would like me to break them down and show you how to do them, put it in the comments below. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.